Personify drew us because it provides a, a way of making online digital interactions, which are the, the, the norm of the world, and really making them more personal. And so the idea of Personify really captures the company's essence, in the sense that you're not just looking at a flat screen, you're actually looking at someone presenting their, their uh, ideas around the world. And so it really draws you in to want to listen to what the individual is telling you, rather than, a, if you will, a, a, just a talking head. So it really does personify the ability to communicate amongst groups, and I think a very exciting way, and I'm sure it's going to capture the market. Yeah, it was rather straightforward, and it was really in, that, in those early stages when we were, you know, kind of contemplating commercializing the technology. Uh, we engaged with OTM here in, uh, on the Urbana campus. We met with one of the, um, the people in the OTM office. It was very helpful in terms of guiding us through the process. There were a couple of key inventions that were done here at the university that, that OTM helped us protect through provisional patents. A particular person worked, worked with us in terms of crafting a licensing plan for that intellectual property back into the company. You know, a plan that really fit with the vision we saw for the company. Every company has a different, you know, vision, a different kind of commercial market. So there's no one size fits all. And OTM was very helpful in terms of crafting a model that worked well for what we wanted the company to be. Sanjay Patel is the faculty founder of Personify, actually, and Mindo. But Sanjay had done a startup company before and had raised money and had sold to another large corporation. He originally thought he was going to do this company and in no way was interested in doing it in the state of Illinois. He said he was going to consider you know, California or some location like that. So immediately that's the challenge that we needed to address and figure out how can we make this work and convince him it's possible to do it here. Uh, he started attending our CEO roundtable. We got him involved in TEDx at a production event uh, where they could showcase their technology live for the first time. And he warmed to the idea that he could do his company more easily by being a faculty member here, having his day job as a professor, but having a startup company closely, closely next to campus at Enterprise Works. They then took advantage of many of our resources for assistance, including an introduction to Illinois Ventures, who eventually funded the company. Uh, our relationship with Illinois Ventures has been extremely positive. We engaged with Illinois Ventures very early in the process, shortly after, you know, sort of drafting our agreement with OTM. Illinois Ventures helped us get our feet on the ground, provided seed funding, helped us catalyze a product vision. I, I really link our success, the point where we are today, to our involvement with Illinois Ventures. That company then grew in Enterprise Works for about three years. We would make introductions to customers, have their employees attend many of our events, and as they grew, they gained more success commercially to the point where we said, it's no longer really time to be an incubator company. You've hatched, and now it's time to go be successful elsewhere. Today, you know, our technology is used by over, by, by people at over 200 companies. Um, but we're really looking forward to a world where the technology we've developed here that started here at the University of Illinois ends up on everybody's smartphone, tablet, laptop. So it's really a, a vision that we have of Personify everywhere.